Modern data centers are complex. The number of workloads that has to run in a modern data center is growing incredibly. From scale up applications, training and data analytics and data processing, to scale out applications, inference and conversational AI, to public cloud applications, high performance computing, cloud gaming, or even remote workstations. The architecture of modern data centers is complex. It first started with the disaggregation of CPU servers and storage servers. And Mellanox's high-speed networking makes that possible. The second thing that happened was the acceleration of workloads. And by accelerating it, the throughput increases by orders of magnitude, reducing the cost. However, the type of accelerators we've offered to data centers over the last several years have been optimized for different tasks. One particular accelerator is designed for scale up. We call that V100 SXMs with NVLink. Another type of data center is really designed for scale out. T4 accelerators are used for inference, and some of it used for flexible clouds. V100 and PCI Express allows public cloud users to be able to use it for training or inference or high performance computing and whatever application they would choose. It's designed really to be flexible. And yet the data centers really want to be high performance as well as flexible at the same time. With all these different types of configurations of servers, the ability to predict exactly the amount of capacity you need for each configuration is difficult. Meanwhile, utilization ultimately drives TCO. And there's an insatiable demand for increasing the capacity of workloads, as well as driving the cost down in the cloud data centers. Clouds now represent nearly a hundred billion dollar industry growing at about 40% per year into an IT infrastructure industry that represents about a trillion dollars. This is the largest growth opportunity of the computer industry, cloud computing. And so it stands to reason that there's so much focus to advance public clouds and cloud data centers. Wouldn't it be amazing if we could create an accelerator that increases the throughput of scale up applications as well as scale out applications and yet completely fungible, completely flexible in one server architecture so that independent of what workload comes, that one server architecture is able to serve it. The ability to create a flexible, high throughput acceleration architecture is something we've been pursuing for some time. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have something new that I'd like to share with you. It's called the NVIDIA A100, our brand new data center GPU. The NVIDIA A100 is based on an architecture we call Ampere. And there's several amazing breakthroughs that make this possible. The first is we're using TSMC's seven nanometer process that's been optimized for NVIDIA. Using a packaging technology called COWAS, chip on wafer on substrate, 3D packaging technology, which puts the memory and the chip on the same substrate, which allows it to interoperate incredibly fast. And we're connected to HBM2 memory that now provides for 1.5 terabytes of frame buffer bandwidth. This is the first processor in history that comfortably delivers over a terabyte per second of bandwidth. The second breakthrough of the Ampere GPU is the new Tensor Core architecture, and it has a new numerical format Tensor Float 32. It has the range of FP32, the precision of FP16. You input an FP32, it processes it with Tensor Float 32, and accumulates it in FP32. As a result, no code change is necessary when you train. Now, for some people who are ninjas, it is possible to optimize for FP16, but our experience is the vast majority of the world simply trains in FP32 today. And so with this new format, TF32, and no code change, all of a sudden, we can accelerate training tremendously. Let me show you here. On the left is V100 Volta's FP32 matrix operations. And on the right is a100 Tensor Core Accelerated TF32. The speed up is extraordinary. Ampere has a new Tensor Core acceleration for sparsity. It takes advantage of the fact that most neural networks are very heavily sparse. So it starts with a dense network, the original network, and it zeroes out the weights that are small or close to zero. And then it retrains that network. As a result, this network can be compressed two to one and using the same data structure, using the same pipeline, we can now effectively accelerate processing by a factor of two. Let me show you the performance. Here, I'm gonna show you the performance of Volta, which is today's state-of-the-art GPU. This is the highest performance GPU in the world today. This is the industry standard of deep learning. 
The black is Volta. The gray on top of the black is the peak, and the solid is measured. In the case of Volta, V100 FP64 is 8 teraflops. FP32 is 16 teraflops peak. FP16, 125, and N8 is 60. And the gold will be the new A100 Ampere GPU. Look at that. A100 FP64 is 20 teraflops. A100 TF32 is 160 teraflops, 10 times. In the case of FP16, 310. In the case of N8, 625 peak. Now this is without sparsity. With sparsity, you get another boost. Look at the factor of two. A100 sparse TF32 is now 310 peak. A100 sparse FP16, 625 peak. And for N8, the world's first processor to achieve over one petaops. This is now 1.25 pops, 1,250 tera operations per second. The inference performance of A100 is incredible. Now, when we compare it as an X factor to Volta, and remind you, this is the most advanced processor in the world today. The Volta numbers are all normalized to basically 1x. The training peak of A100 sparse TF32 nearly 20 times the performance of Volta. In the case of inference, 20 times the peak of Volta. This is the greatest generation leap we have ever experienced. Let me show it to you. Oh, boy. Ugh. Ladies and gentlemen, the world's largest, the world's largest graphics card. This is the A100 processor board. It is 50 pounds, eight GPUs connected by NVLink, 600 gigabytes per second, six MV switches, one million drill holes, one kilometer of traces connecting all of this, over 30,000 components, 50 pounds. In DGX, it moves 700 cubic feet per minute. The most transistors on one computer the world has ever made. Ladies and gentlemen, the NVIDIA A100 system board. It is just a technology marvel. But there's more. Ampere has a new architecture we call MIG. It stands for multi-instance GPU. It's the ability to turn one GPU into many. You could have one GPU, you could have up to seven independent GPUs, or some combination in between. In the past, we would have a rocket ship with a very large payload. And while the payload is being filled up, the rocket ship is waiting. But as soon as the payload is filled up, the rocket ship flies to space like you couldn't believe. Well, with A100, you have the ability to run it as one gigantic rocket ship with a very large payload, or you could have seven independent rockets, each with a smaller payload, but they could take off as soon as they're ready. And so for inference or public cloud, instead of having one person use a GPU, fractionalize it, create seven different instances so that each one of the customers could rent a smaller computer. You now have the flexibility to do that. MIG is going to have a profound impact on how we architect data centers. When I talked earlier about how we would like to have a universal, a unified server architecture that allows us to scale up as well as scale out and to be able to configure it as the workload needs, this is exactly what we mean. Ampere is not only incredibly fast for training, not only is it incredibly fast for inference, it also has the ability to fractionalize and partition itself up into a large GPU for scale-up applications or a whole bunch of small GPUs to maximize scale-out. Whether it's for inference or public clouds, you now have the ability to have one data center architecture for acceleration that is flexible, high throughput, and enables higher utilization. The performance is incredible right out of the box. This is BERT, one of the largest models and most important models today. 
BERT training and BERT inference. Compared to Volta, a platform that has been refined and optimized for three years now, right out of the box, A100 is six times the performance in training. Six times. Transistor budget only increased about 70%. Now, Ampere is the largest, most complex processor the world has ever made. Thousands of engineers worked on it for several years, and it came together in this one incredible chip. 70% more transistors with great architecture delivered six times more performance out of the box. In the case of inference, it is seven times the performance of Volta, and much more, over 12 times the performance of T4s. Now, let me show you Ampere in a demo. This demo is a natural language understanding model that includes speech recognition. Not speech recognition of a human, speech recognition of a bird. The question that it has to answer is this. What is the native region of the bird that I'm hearing? First, it has to understand the question. It has to understand that the question has something to do with hearing the sound. Understand the sound, classify the sound, and then figure out from what region is that bird located and respond as quickly as possible. In the case of V100, this is the result. First of all, it's a miracle in itself that we have an application that can do it at all. The breakthrough of artificial intelligence is pretty astounding. This next demo is A100 with one MIG. Just one of the seven MIGs could achieve the same performance as an entire Volta, the world's state-of-the-art GPU. Now what happens if we put all the MIGs to work? All seven MIGs. Wow. A100 with all seven MIGs could do over 500 queries per second. With Volta, we could do about 80. So Ampere has seven times the inference performance of Volta. This is pretty extraordinary. Ladies and gentlemen, NVIDIA's brand new data center GPU, the A100. DGX is our third generation system. It's the world's first fully integrated AI system. It was designed to be the ultimate instrument of AI researchers. It's fully optimized and you simply take it out of the box, plug it in, and you have a state-of-the-art development system for AI. Now, the previous generation of DGXs were really optimized for training. The DGX A100, our third generation, this is the first one that's unified. In the sense that you can use it for data analytics, you could use it for training, and you could also use it for inference. You could also split up this DGX and share it among 56 different users at one time. Each one of them could have the benefit of equivalent performance of a Volta. It is elastic for scale up or scale out computing. Inside this machine is nine Mellanox CX6 virtual protocol interconnect. Each one of the NICs is 200 gigabits per second of network capability. Dual 64 core AMD ROM CPU with one terabyte of memory. Eight NVIDIA A100 GPUs six NVIDIA MV switches. The reason for that is this. We want every one of the GPUs to be able to communicate with each other simultaneously without blocking. And with the new MV links, which is 600 gigabytes per second, the cross-sectional bandwidth is about 4.8 terabytes per second. It's like a high-end switch integrated into DGX so that all the GPUs could communicate with each other simultaneously. And it comes with 15 terabytes of PCIe Gen 4 NVMe solid state drive. This is the first computer ever made that in one node exceeds five petaflops of computing capability. DGX is a marvelous machine. And our creative team using Omniverse and the amazing rendering capability of RTX created a short movie for you. Everything that you're about to see is based off of the original CAD design and it's rendered photorealistically using NVIDIA's RTX. Let me show it to you, it's really quite amazing.
The performance of this machine is incredible. Int 8, 10 petaops peak. FP16, 5 petaflops peak. TF32 for training, 2.5 petaflops peak. FP64 for scientific computing, 156 teraflops peak. This is an amazing level of performance. If you compare it to the highest end servers, $10,000 server, DGX A100 is 150 times its peak performance. 40 times the memory bandwidth, 40 times the IO bandwidth. 150 high-end servers, that's a million and a half dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, the NVIDIA DGX A100 is in full production and is available today at an amazing price of $199,000. Incredible performance, incredible value. You could also buy it in the form for hyperscalers. NVIDIA is an open computing platform company. We develop systems so that we can fully integrate new categories of products and engineer the highest performance components. We also offer the components disaggregated for all of our partners around the world. And so if you would like to build your own hyperscale data center using NVIDIA's HGX A100, the carrier boards, the motherboards are available separately. Let me show you what it's like when you put A100 in your data center. Here we're showing you a modern, typical AI data center. There's a lot of DGXs inside with Voltus running in parallel for training. And for data analytics, running Spark, for example, or inference, they typically run on CPUs. And so this particular data center has 50 DGX ones and 600 CPU systems for AI inference and data processing. $11 million, 630 kilowatts is approximately uh, the going price for a state-of-the-art AI data center. With the A100, this is what it looks like. Boom. Unbelievable. This is the benefit of the new architecture. The combination of the high throughput, the MIG instances, and the ability to do data processing, deep learning, and inference all on one computing platform, and the acceleration software we've developed from Spark to training all the way to inference, we can now combine all of those different server architectures into one. And by doing so, we reduced an $11 million data center into a $1 million rack, 28 kilowatts instead of 630 kilowatts, a tenth of the cost and 1 20th of the power. The more you buy, the more you save. Let's take a look at that one more time. This is before $11 million, 50 DGX ones, 600 CPU servers, modern AI data center. Ladies and gentlemen, now. Before and now. Incredible achievement. Now let's take a look at another algorithm, the famous page rank algorithm. There are hundreds of billions of web pages and trillions of links. The page rank algorithm crawls the internet and creates a gigantic graph of hyperlinks and websites, and analyzing it to determine which one of the websites is the most relevant. We've taken a publicly available database called the Common Crawl Dataset. This is only 2.6 terabytes of data. It's 128 billion edges. The internet has several hundred billion websites and trillions of edges. So this is a very small fraction of that. And to do that, it takes 3,000 servers and 105 racks and these 3,000 servers can analyze the relevance of web pages using the PageRank algorithm and deliver 52 billion edges per second. This is state of the art, 52 billion edges per second. Now, what you're about to see is four DGX A100s connected through NVLink into essentially one giant DGX. This giant DGX has 32 GPUs effectively. The performance is incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what it looks like before, and this is what it looks like now. A reduction of 75 times in cost. 688 billion edges per second. It's simultaneously 13 times the performance and 175th the cost. You gotta see that one more time. Before, after. Ladies and gentlemen, the more you buy, the more you save. The DGX SuperPod connects 
140 DGX A100 systems, creating a 1120 A100 computer. It has a 170 Mellanox quantum InfiniBand switch to have the lowest possible latency. Each one of the ports is 200 gigabits per second, and together, the Mellanox InfiniBand network fabric sustains 280 terabytes per second. 15 kilometers of optical cables, nearly 10 miles, which is one of the reasons why we pre-configure the networking for our customers. It's 700 petaflops of AI performance. The fastest supercomputer in the world is about 300 petaflops. This one pod delivers for AI performance nearly twice that, and this can be built in just three weeks. One of the first deliveries of the DGX is to NVIDIA, and we extended our Saturn V AI supercomputer with DGX A100s. The Saturn V supercomputer is used by all of our researchers to advance, for example, DLSS 2.0, to do pre-trained models for Jarvis or Metropolis or Clara, to do collaboration research with researchers and scientists around the world in healthcare, for example. And we use it to train models for our self-driving cars and robots. Our supercomputer is super important to us and nearly all of the software platforms we do today has some neural network component to it. Investing in our own supercomputer is vital to our business. Saturn V today has 1.8 exaflops of performance. The fastest supercomputer in the world is about 300 petaflops. And so we have several supercomputers inside the company that we've been using to develop all of these advances in AI. And now with just this extension with DGX A100, NVIDIA Saturn V will have 4.6 exaflops of total AI capacity. That is just a gigantic jump with this extension. Our researchers are super excited about it. The brand new NVIDIA A100 data center GPU and the DGX A100 integrated AI supercomputer, and of course, all of the software stacks that go along with it, it's available today at $199,000.